In Kenya, a local non-governmental organization will be awarded for its humanitarian work in October. The award will come with a funding worth $2 million. The fans will go into expanding its work in Kenya's biggest slum, Kibera. Shining Hope for Community started as a community-driven project aimed at addressing problems faced by the struggling Kibera residents. CGTN's Wilkis Tanyabo spoke to the co-founder of the group. The blue posts that dot the sprawling Kibera slums in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, are important markers. They show the parts of Kenya's biggest informal settlement which have access to clean water. It all starts here, at water tanks placed high above the ground. Water pipes connected to these tanks take clean, treated water to 24 water kiosks where residents can access it. But what makes this project different is that the water pipes are also raised high above the ground. This water is really clean. You can't get waterborne diseases from it because the pipes raised so the water doesn't get contaminated. The aerial water pipes are the brainchild of the Shining Hope for Communities organization, a non-governmental organization co-founded by Kennedy Odede. In August, Shosko won an award worth $2 million from the Conrad and Hilton Humanitarian Organization. It is an accomplishment born out of very humble beginnings. Kennedy grew up in Kibra and was well acquainted with the gripping poverty and the problems residents faced, but he didn't know how to help. So we started a, a, a football club, and then slowly, slowly football club, slowly by slowly, theater group. So what I did, interesting, is that to engage the youth, women and girls and boys, they were coming in. We make our small cabinet in charge of cleaning and environment, sports, theater, and we meet almost every day, bigger meetings on weekends. And from the initiative, Shofko was born, with Kennedy seeking funds to solve the community's problems. In 2007, he met his co-founder, Jessica Posner, and together they expanded their work. Today, Shofko runs a school for girls, a clinic, a community library, and the water project where residents buy a jerry can of water for just two cents. They run projects in six informal settlements in two towns, and they are still dreaming big. The Humanitarian Award puts Shofko in the League of Organizations which have won the award before, such as Doctors Without Borders. It also means Shofko can expand its operations. So what we do is we take the money into investment, which is called endowment. Then every month, every year, we're going to get a percentage that we can use. Shofko will be there even after Kennedy. It will be there existing, because every year we'll be getting some money from it. The blue and white, which dots Kibra, is now Kennedy's legacy. On the 19th of October, the founders of Shofko will receive the prestigious award for the work that they have done, but they say the real reward is here. It is in the fulfillment they find in the impact they are making in their communities. Wilkis Anyabwa, CGTN in Kibra, Kenya.